how to script a Roblox game. Hi everyone, welcome back. In this tutorial, we're gonna learn how to script a Roblox game. Step one, have an idea of what you wanna do in your game. In this game, I'm gonna make a sick pill and a cure pill. A sick pill is gonna make a player sick and a cure pill is gonna cure the player's sickness. So if the player is sick, the player will lose health and eventually gonna die unless if they can find the cure pill to cure their sickness before they die. That is gonna be our game. Let's now make that game. I don't know if you noticed, but while I was talking, I already made my sick pill here. And now I'm copying the sick pill, I'm making the cure pill. Now we have both, the sick pill is the red pill, the cure pill is the green pill. Next, I go and ask ChatGPT, give me a touch event script to add a sick tag to a player when touch. And this is what I got. We just need to copy it. Back to Roblox Studio, we're gonna add a script to the sick pill and paste in the script. Now this is one way of doing this, but you may say to yourself, I have seen a tutorial from PriceCP on attributes and I wanna use attributes instead of doing it this way. Then you can go back to ChatGPT and ask ChatGPT to use attributes instead. You can see here it says, this does the same thing, flags the character as sick, but with a built-in attribute instead of inserting a physical object into the character model. It's cleaner and better for performance. Sounds wonderful, let's do it this way. Copy. And we're gonna go back to the script. We're gonna replace the script, just paste it in. Going back to ChatGPT again, this time I say, give me another script to remove the sick attribute when touch. And here we are, we're just gonna copy the script. Back to studio, I'm adding a script to the cure pill and just paste it in. Going back to chat GPT again, I say, give me a script to make a sick player loses one health every second they are in the game. And here we are. Copy, going back to the script. We're gonna go to the service script service, add a script and paste it. So basically what we have so far is we have a sick pill that has a script that's gonna tag a player as being sick. And also we have a cure pill. It's gonna remove the sick tag from the player and the player is gonna be well again. And also we have a script in the service script service that's gonna check every player in the game. And for any player that has a sick tag, the player is gonna lose health for every second they are in the game. Let's now play test and take a look. Okay, so here I am. I'm gonna touch the I'm gonna touch the sick pill. And now I should be sick right now. Give it uh, some time and I should be losing health. But I don't see it's happening yet. So let me check, I'm gonna go into my character. I'm gonna look for the tag and there I have the sick tag, so I should be losing health. Let me go to the humanoid of my character. And I'm gonna look for my health and my health is still 100. What's going on? I have no idea. Let's go back to the script and take a look. We're now gonna use debugging to debug the script. I'm gonna add a breakpoint at line number eight. You just gotta click there to add a breakpoint. And now play test again and take a look. It should hit the breakpoint. If it doesn't, we have a problem. And you can see it did not hit the breakpoint. So something is not working. Apparently it never reaches inside the wall loop. Let's go back to the script. All right, so it never goes inside the wall loop, which means we did not have a character. Maybe we did it too fast. We need to put in a task wait to wait for the character to load first before we go into this wall loop. So I'm inserting a task wait of 10 seconds. That should give the game enough time to load the characters. Let's play test again and take a look. Remember we have a task wait of 10 seconds. So we need to give it 10 seconds before we check to see if that works. And there it is, it worked. It hit inside the wall loop. So that was the problem. We have solved one problem. Hopefully that is the only problem, but we'll see. 
we can now remove this breakpoint just by clicking on it. Okay, I have removed the breakpoint. You can press resume to continue running. Switching back to the client. And now I'm gonna go and touch the sick pill. Let's see if I'm gonna lose health. You can see my health bar is on, so that means I'm losing health, but apparently it's not losing health fast enough. Let's go back to the script. So for every one second, we're taking away one health from the sick player, but Roblox has a default script that gives every player one health for every second they're in the game. So in a way, it's canceling each other's out and the health stays at 100. It's not going anywhere. So what we need to do is we need to remove five health for every one second instead of just one health. Let's play test again and take a look. So here we are. Right now, I'm normal. I didn't touch anything. So you can see my health is full. It's at 100%. And next, I'm going to go and touch the sick pill. And we'll see. As soon as I touch it, you can see my health is going down. And it's going to keep on going down until I touch the cure pill. And now you can see my health is going back up. That is the Roblox default script that I was telling you about. It automatically gives you one health for every second you're inside the game. And my health is going up. Now, as long as I'm normal, I'm okay. But if I go and touch the sick pill again, and now I'm sick again, and I'm losing health again. You can see my health is going down. I need to go and get the cure pill now. If I don't make it, I would die. And there you see it, I'm dead. Alright guys, that is all for this scripting tutorial. Thank you for watching, hope you found it helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more Roblox Studio tutorials, and we will see you in the next video. For new beginners, we invite you to stop by our Price CP Roblox YouTube channel. Here you will find everything you need to know about Roblox Studio and Roblox scripting. I recommend you start with the Roblox Studio tutorial playlist. In this playlist, you will find everything you need to know about Roblox Studio. Go to our Roblox scripting playlist to learn everything you need to know about Roblox scripting. Go down a little further, you have the how-to series. These are topic-related playlists. And then we have the extended series. Once again, thank you for watching, and we look forward to seeing you again in our next video.